Hi, uh, so today we're going to explain the difference between tasks and projects. So a project is the big overarching organizing concept. Within a project, you have different assets. So for example, tasks, you've got data sets, you've got different users, all that kind of stuff works within a project. So you can see on the left hand side here, I've got multiple uh, tasks. So each card here represents a group of, of tasks. And you can see if I click on this, it says my project slash batch one. So you can see that this uh, batch one is within the concept of the overarching project. Okay, so why does this exist this way? Well, one reason is because you can reuse different assets. So when you create your label schema in the concept of a project, and then you go to make a new set of uh, tasks, all of these labels, all of that schema is already available automatically. So there's no further work required to reuse it for a new batch of work. Same thing with users. So for example, you can get more granular and you can say, hey, I want to assign specific users to work on this set of tasks. But at the same time, if you just want everybody to be able to work on it, you don't have to specifically reinvite or reshare the document with everybody. So what one way to think about it conceptually is kind of like a shared folder or a shared drive. Once you've added people to the project, you don't have to keep re-adding them in order to be able to see the tasks or to work in the project. But if you want to further restrict it, you still can. Conceptually, if you think about it as an Azure subscription or as a uh, Google Cloud project, that's a very similar idea. So it basically gives you a way to organize your work. It's totally up to you how you want to organize it. So one project, you can already create multiple data sets. So for example, if I go to this import and I say new, you can see here there's the option to have many data sets. So I'm going to make a new one. And you can see that comes up there. And you can have, you can search, you could have 100 data sets that are all within uh, one, one project or, or even more than that. Yeah, so it's totally up to you. Uh, if you're just getting started, and you don't have too many concerns and you want to keep it really simple, you can just make your one project when you first start and then do everything within the concept of one project. If, for example, you have uh, two different sets of users and you don't want them to have any access to uh, what else isn't going on in some other project, then you can create two separate projects, right? So it's, it's totally up to you how you want to organize that. Uh, the project thing is just a way to smoothly reuse and organize stuff um, and it's flexible so it works based on what on what you need to do with it.